and gentlemen, we are ready for the third bout of the professional fights of night number 20 of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. And this is a middleweight contest over six rounds. Introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner. And this evening is spotted in the black and harsh trunks with blue gloves to match. The man with a weight of 159 pounds from the Gin Boxing Club here in Accra with a record of two fights, no win, no draw, two defeats. This is the man who is a professional caterer, is a chef as his profession. This is the man who is here tonight to prove his mettle. Presenting to you, the boxer, Yahya Yosef. Now switching over to the red corner. This is the boxer from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of Coach Ebenezer Ajay. This is the man with a weight of 155.10 pounds. The man with the official record of seven fight, no defeat, no draw, seven wins, six of the wins. Came by way of knockout this evening spotted in the red and white trunks, red gloves to match. The man who has never tasted defeat, born and bred in Brecombe. Presenting to you, the boxer, Ali Do Sulemanu. And the man in charge of this fight is David Mills. Gentlemen, I expect a good entry fight. Obey my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. So we're getting ready for the next bout of the evening. If you're still with us, we're glad. This is coming to you live from the Bokum Boxing Arena. It's now the turn of Black Panthers and the gym to show what they're made of. And so two boxers from these two uh, gyms, Alidu Suleimana, or Alidu Suleimanu, is taking on a Yaya Yusuf. Yeah. Yaya Yusuf is in the black trunks. Alidu Suleimanu in the red and our center referee David Mills will be in charge of this middleweight contest which is scheduled for six rounds Alidu, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very sure this bout is going to last Alidu was knocked out in his first bout against Benjamin Nee Sakabule in the very first round he was also knocked out in his second bout in the second round um, let's see what can happen but then Alidu Suleimana is fighting out of the Black Panthers gym. I've, I've seen him fight many times. He's a power puncher, very aggressive. He's able to absorb all your punches, your flurries. And when he comes at you, comes at you with a, with, um, uh, a touch of savagery, you know. I, I don't expect you see to last in this fight. That is, that is my prediction. Well, early predictions from uh, Sam Nana Gold. Of course, Ali Du is no stranger when it comes to the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. Let's see whether that 40 of his, a combination of the staying power and, of course, his fighting prowess, will do him any good in this bout. That's the first round, scheduled for six. Still a packed atmosphere here because everybody is looking forward to some of the key bouts coming up later tonight. Michael Aban and Isaac Ayite will be squaring off for the National Super Flyweight Championship. And then, of course, Charles Iyao Tete and John Kwe will battle out for the National Featherweight Championship. It's good to find uh, boxers who have traveled from far and near to hone their skills. And the gyms dotted around Accra. Alidu Suleimanu, we've been told, came all the way from Brekum. He used, he used, Alidu used to be a very raw boxer. And the coach Ebenezer J, aka Coach Killer, he has refined his skills, honed his craft, and you can see the evidence right there. 
a very effective, aggressive puncher. Landing that power jab on the face of Yusuf. Not just a range finder. The jabs thrown by Suleimana are not just range fi finders. They are actually power jabs. That's a big one from uh, Suleimano. Here we go for round two of the bout scheduled for six. Suleimanu in the red trunks. Yusuf in the black. A little Suleimanu when he, he fought against uh, uh, Isaac Kome, a former kickboxer, ending a, um, a TKO in round number five. Very epic fight on that night. He has been jumping weights here and there. He, he, he has to find a particular weight where he'll be stable at. He has fought at welterweight. He has fought at super welter. He's fighting at middleweight. He has to be stable. Find a comfortable weight. Remain there and be consistent at that weight. Well, I love the combination of punches on uh, Yusuf. Yusuf is at the receiving end. But Yusuf obviously will stand tall. Alidu giving it his all. And Yusuf will have to go in for the clinch. Prince, maybe Refugee David Mills has to come to the rescue of Yusuf. He, he looks like somebody who doesn't really want to be in there. That was a good opening there for uh, Suleimanu. And those body shots from Suleimanu will obviously like to weaken or better still cripple his opponent as Yusuf goes down. He's taking enough punishment, but I'm sure he'll be up on his feet and would want to continue with the bout. And uh, Suleiman who goes once again, Yusuf, has he got what it takes to withstand the power? There he goes down once again. Well, he says it's okay, he would want to fight. So, uh, Suleimanu, I'm sure at this stage he would want to finish off what he started. Steady, strong, boxing. Oh! And then he goes down again. He says he's okay. Can he last the last 10 seconds? Saved by the bell. He has gone down for three times. I doubt he can make it to the next round. I doubt. You should have seen, you should have seen the aggressiveness. When the bell went out, Alidu was already in the corner of his opponent, exactly. waiting for him to get off his stool. But obviously, he's taking enough punishment. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we put our hands together for the two boxes? It was an amazing fight. Bout number three of uh, the Luxury Professional Boxing League Week number 20. We've just saw the end of the fight. The fight ended prematurely in round number three. And the verdict that we have here in round three by a technical knockout. Let's welcome the winner from the Black Panthers Boxing Gymnasium. Alidu Suleiman. Now, Alidu, 
Ali do, Ali do, Ali do. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I did say. I don't know when you're Brisa. Yeah, best of your world champion. It's my own sense of former legend. What? The best of them prove me, sir. I'm ready to become like him. Oh, you want to become like Azuma Nelson? Why do you want to become like Azuma Nelson? He's the greatest boxer all the time. Oh, really? Now, you were born and bred in Brekum. How do you feel today? Your people are watching you. What message do you have for them? I feel so great and I appreciate the fans who are here. May God bless everybody. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Thank you, sir. Okay, that was, that was a great thing. Alidu, uh, somebody wants to challenge you. Why do you want to challenge him? I want to challenge him. But you are taller than him. Oh, yeah, but he's it, it my way. Over oh, Nele. Oh, my love. Alidu, he said he'll beat you. No, oh, he can't. But he's taller than you. Yeah, me, I don't feel taller. Oh, okay. I can even make him be short at the time. Oh. Because my opponent is taller than me. He's going to be tall for me. I'm going to stop him. Are you sure? I'm sure. He'll be a small boy for me. He'll be a small boy for you. He'll be a small boy. He'll be a small boy for me. Yeah, you self, you, just, you don't believe yourself. Me, I believe myself. I'm allergy to the manner. I'm going to knock you. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Let's wait. Let's wait. Hey, hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is boxing for you. The bragging rights. The bragging rights. <laughs> hey. Interesting stuff.